You're gonna hear lots of pops, but that's a good thing. Got a mess. What should I tie? Oh, wait a second, I got an idea. Okay, you think it's a good idea? All right, let's do it. You're gonna have to roll over. Roll over. Good boy, good boy. Okay. Your ears catch all the stickers. Isn't it cute? And then right here, we got Chong. There it is, Tiku's hair. We're gonna freestyle this fly. We're gonna be using these materials right here with real dog hair. Okay, so the hook, uh, Foley Mill FM5130. If you guys want a solid vise at a very affordable price, you can't really beat a peak. Black, 70 in here. to about where the barb would be. You know how you order slotted tungsten beads and you get these big boxes? I use mine to hold my needles. So I've got a needle, three millimeter tungsten bead. You want it to stick out about there. So we have to cut the needle, the bend, and that's what we end up with. And I'm just gonna hold this and we're just gonna tie this in on the top. Gotta be careful of that where I cut the thread. I'm gonna go ahead and go down right there. And then we'll bring our thread about just to the bend right there. Um, we're gonna grab some marabou. And I'll just tie that in. Trim that. In okay, so next, some silly legs. Actually, this is just a spinner bait skirt. Just gonna fold it over your thread. Pull that up like that. Grab both strands. I'm just gonna kind of pull them back. Fold it over your thread. Pull it over to the other side and tie that in. One a little shorter. Okay, so next I got some crystal flash. This is the pearlescent, and then you can see I've just trimmed the corner off. A little hack there for you. One strand. Just gonna fold it over the thread. Let's fly over, over the thread again. Do the same thing on this side. Now we've got Tiku hair. Let's set that Mav hair right on top like that. Give it that contrast. I'm gonna go under get in front of that hook shank. This is where the fly gets interesting. Get this foam, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear it like that. Just kinda right down the middle. And we're just gonna, just kinda pinch that right behind that bead. And we're just gonna start tying this in. And you're gonna hear lots of pops, but that's a good thing. So it should look something like that. You see how that could be like a wing, like or an airplane? <laughs> Just kidding. Half of what I do is not serious, but fun and artsy. Now for real, what we're gonna do is we've got some, this brown dubbing with a little bit of flash in it. Just got a pinch of it. It's gonna dub just a little flage here. Open, and then we'll just go ahead and wrap this forward. Let's spin that a little tighter. Like we're gonna come front of that hook point and let's work our way towards that bead. Just trim off. At this point, I'm sure most of the veteran veteran fly tires are just like, dude, this guy is nuts. They're gone. So if you guys are still hanging with me, I appreciate you guys. Seriously, I do. I mean, I, I really mean that. We're going to see what this fly looks like in the water. 
just because you guys stuck around. But before we do that, let's get our little whip finish tool. And we're gonna whip finish right, right behind that bead. We'll trim our thread. It's almost a fire tiger. Okay, so next, um, we're just gonna brush out some of these fibers. You guys hang in there. Hey, this is gonna look amazing, I promise you. I gave it a little haircut just so it has a little more of a taper to it. But check this out. So here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. The sun is rising. The magical tiku fly. Let's see what it looks like underwater. Here it goes. You can see that it's balanced, hanging horizontal just like a balanced lead should. Do you guys think it'll fish? I really like the action. So let's see what it looks like with the UV light. Okay, here comes the UV. Man, just a little bit awake and this is just gonna look so alive. I, really, I like it. If you guys know of any furs that I can buy that are equivalent and give me this kind of action, um, please let me know in the comments. If you subscribe and comment hashtag fly time and I'll enter you guys in for a chance to win a fly face mask kit. Okay guys, take care. This is Steve from Black Fly signing out. You guys have a wonderful day wherever you're at in the world.